my channel. If you're new, my name is Courtney and it's Friday, so that means it's grocery day. I did my usual curbside order at Walmart, a curbside order at HEV, and then I popped into Market Street because they had some pretty good sales going this week. Unfortunately, a lot of the stuff I went for was sold out, but it was not a wasted trip because I did find some other deals that were really awesome. So I'm going to show you guys everything I bought for my family of five for this next week. I will pop the prices up on the screen so you guys know what I paid for everything and I'll include a meal plan at the end so you know what we're doing with all the food that I purchased. All right guys, let's dive right in to see the groceries. All right, here is a little overview of my Walmart grocery order. It is definitely much smaller than usual and I do have two little helpers in here with me helping go through the groceries today. So we're so gonna help them. They're gonna help me. So we're gonna start down here on the floor. I did get a big 40 pack of water. We do like our bottled water. It's really handy to take with us when we, you know, are on the go and stuff. Or oh, when we, and we use them in, in the night. Yes, we use them at night sometimes too. And then we'll hop up here on the counter and we have got some hummus. I'll be using that to make some more wraps for my husband this week. And then right behind it, we do have two cans of pizza crust. I am going to try to make like some homemade hot pockets and I didn't want to have to make the dough just because I feel like next week's going to be a little bit busy. So I picked up two cans of pizza dough. Then right behind it, we have some bacon. Um, I was thinking about making some breakfast hot pockets. <laughs> that was my big plan. So I picked up some bacon and I thought I'd do some eggs and cheese inside there. We'll see how it turns out. I could always change my mind. I might do a different filling, but that's kind of what I was leaning towards. And then we come down here, and there are the wraps I will be using to make my husband's lunches for the week. And then back here, I do have some cheddar cheese sandwich crackers. My youngest son, Jensen, loves these crackers, and I've had such a hard time getting them. They've been sold out everywhere. Okay, back here we have our usual milk. We've got some lactate because one of my kids cannot have dairy. Next to it, we have a gallon of unsweetened almond milk for my husband's uh smoothies that he drinks, his protein drinks, and then a gallon of regular milk for my oldest because that is just what he prefers. All right, and then we'll come down here, and I have a box of toasted coconut uh, coffee pods, and then also a box of French vanilla coffee pods. The coconut's mine, the French vanilla is my husband's, and right in between we have one lone cucumber. Those are for my husband's wraps I for thought, lunch this week. I thought it was a pickle. No, it's, it's not a pickle yet. <laughs> And then back here, we do have two boxes of strawberry and cream oatmeal. Those are my husband's breakfast for this week. Normally, I cook him breakfast and lunch for the whole week, but we're going to be super busy this weekend, so I just decided I was going to keep it really simple. He loves oatmeal, and wraps are really healthy. I can pack them full of like turkey and stuff, so it'll be a great lunch for him this week. Right next to it, I do have a small bag of sugar. We're starting to run a little bit low, so I went ahead and ordered some more of that. And then right next to it, I do have a bag of fresh spinach. Again, those are for my husband's wraps for lunch this week. And then right here, I have some dry shampoo. I finally found a brand I love. It is this Garnier Fructis. They make an invisible dry, and I love it. It works great on my dark hair. It does not leave any kind of residue. And then on the counter, we do have a ruler. We have been working on measurements, and one of our rulers is missing. So we've been having to share a ruler, and that does not work. So, and I purchased this cute little ruler from Walmart. And this one. I have. I, yeah, I already had this one, but we had to get the new wooden one. And then the last thing I got from Walmart was this 12-pack of Yoohoo. My kids really like Yoohoo. I don't buy it for them all that often, but I thought I would just go ahead and grab this because it's great for on the go. And that is my Walmart grocery order. And then the next is H-E-B. Well, no, no. Next is Market Street. Oh. So, I went to... Market Street next. I brought, ran in here because they had some really great buy one get one sales. Unfortunately, the things I went for mostly were sold out, but I did come home with a couple of great items that I was really pleased with. So first off, I did get these uh, pizzas. Signature Select is the store brand. They were on sale, so I got a spinach and mushroom pizza. I also got this Rising Crust 3 Meat pizza, and then I got an ultra thin crust pepperoni pizza. We will probably have these for dinner on Sunday night. And then down here in the front, I got three boxes of Near East couscous. We absolutely love, love, love couscous. And it was on sale three for five. 
So I did get the toasted pine nut, herbed chicken, and the roasted garlic and olive oil. And then right next to that, I got some Reese's. There's one for each of my little guys that are helping me out today. Okay. All right. So right behind the uh, right behind the Reese's, we have this little Lunchable. I picked this up just to snack on. I like to have them on hand, and they've been really hard to get lately. And then behind it, I did get a can of just regular Pringles, the, the party or the party stack size. I picked those those up because they were on sale this week at Market Street. Next to it, I did get some bananas just because banana. we were, banana. We were out of banana and we like them, so I picked up another bunch while I was there. Then I did get three pounds of seedless red grapes. These were one of the items that were on sale that I went in for. Then down here, I did get two packs of this Lucerne sliced cheese. I got the pepper jack and the reduced fat Swiss because we need them for sandwiches that we're gonna have for dinner. Speaking of sandwiches, here are the rolls that I got to have those sandwiches. They are just 12 potato rolls baked in their bakery. They make really great stuff at the bakery at Market Street. And they might have sugar on them. I think that's flour. I'm pretty sure it's flour. And then behind that are three things that I just happened to find in the store. This is Rebel Green Super Deluxe Dish Soap. Uh, it's pink lilac scented. I like the smell and it was on sale. 99 cents for the bottle. And then behind it, I picked up this Eco's All-Purpose Cleaner. It says it's tough on grease and grime. It is orange scented. I also picked this up for 99 cents. I got the Eco's Breeze Magnolia and Lily. It's like Febreze. It's just the Eco's brand. And this was also 99 cents. Mm. And that is my little haul from Market Street. Okay, and lastly, I've got a little haul from HEB. It's not a ton of stuff, but I did get a few items. We'll start down here on the floor. First of all, I got this big bag of Heritage Ranch grain-free dog food. One of my dogs is allergic to grain, so we do have to be kind of careful what we feed them. Um, it's one, We have a little tiny chihuahua, and, and she is allergic to grain, so I do like to have some grain-free food on hand. Uh, the other food that I buy is an ancient grain food, which doesn't seem to bother her as much as just the regular wheat and stuff. So I like this brand a lot. This time I got the salmon and chickpea recipe because I think our husky's really going to like that. Uh, he really, really, really likes fish. And then over here, I have a bag of cat food. It's just the HEB Texas Pet brand, but my cats like it quite a bit, so I picked up a bag for them. And then we'll come up here to the counter. I did get another pack of these Tuscany Wax Melts, the Spice Market scent. It is so good. I love it so much. And then right next to it, I did get a bottle of yellow mustard. Uh, we like to keep this on hand, and we were just almost out, so I picked up some more. Then behind it, we did get some uh, store brand Benadryl. That's what that HEB allergy relief is. I like to keep this on hand because we all have allergies. It's just super handy sometimes. Next to it, I got some Cafe Bustello. It's an instant coffee uh, mix. I've never tried that brand, but people always rave about it. And this was only a dollar, so I thought I would give it a shot just to see if the taste is as great as people say it is. And here I've got a bottle of Accent. Basically, it's just MSG. It's just a seasoning for cooking. Not something I use all the time. In fact, this is the first time I've ever purchased it. But I hear a lot about it on different cooking shows that I watch, so I thought I would give it a shot. Then back here in the back, I do have two bottles of the HEB brand uh, Sweet and Sparkling Water. I did get one Cranberry Raspberry and one White Grape. Then behind him, I did get some more disposable coffee cups. My husband likes to use them in the morning on his way to work. Next to that, I do have some coconut milk. That is what I like to drink. I don't have a glass every night, so this will last me about two weeks. And then I did get some uh, instant iced tea mix raspberry flavor. I like raspberry tea, and I was looking for something quick and simple so I could just make a glass whenever I felt like it, so I grabbed this. And back here we do have some cleaner with bleach. I don't use bleach all the time, but I do like to have it on hand because it's necessary, especially in bathrooms. So I was running low, I went ahead and ordered this. And then because I see people get this all the time and I was watching somebody else on YouTube the other day and I decided I'm going to try it because I see it everywhere, it's so popular. So I got this Zataran Cilantro Lime Rice. We'll give that a shot maybe when we have tacos this week, I'm not sure. Then down here I did get some oven roasted turkey. These are for my husband's wraps for his lunches this week. And then down here I did get this giant boneless Boston butt pork roast. 
I thought I would cook this next week and then we would just use it for a number of different things. I do that sometimes, get a very large piece of meat, cook it, and we eat it like three or four different ways, especially with like brisket and stuff. And so I thought we would just do it with this next week. So back here I do have four bags of the Bear Fruit Chips. If you have not had these, run to your store and get them. They are fantastic. I got the Apple Cinnamon Apple Chips. I got the Chocolate Dusted Coconut Chips, a second bag of that, and then I got the Honey Coconut Chips. Obviously the coconut is my favorite, although I really do enjoy the Apple Cinnamon Chips as well. These were buy one get one free. I could not pass that deal up. So I went ahead and picked up four bags to have them on hand. And lastly, I did get two boxes of the store brand Cheez-Its. My kids love Cheez-Its and Sam's Club was sold out last time I placed an order there. So I just went ahead and grabbed two brands of the H-E-B, or two boxes of the H-E-B brand and that's fine. My kids love those. And that's it for H-E-B. All right, so here is the meal plan for the week. So for Friday, we're just gonna have some sandwiches, keeping it simple. Saturday, uh, we're going to be busy this weekend, so we're just going to eat out. Then on Sunday, we will have frozen pizza for dinner because, again, we're going to be busy. Monday and Tuesday night, we will be having tacos. I did not ever get around to making them this past week. Instead, we ended up making chili. So I'm just going to go ahead and make some tacos next week. And then Wednesday through Friday, we will be eating that pork roast that you saw in my grocery haul. I'm not exactly sure what all I'm going to do with it, but it's a lot of meat and we should be able to eat on it for three days. So there is the meal plan. All right guys, so that's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. And to all my new subscribers, thank you guys so much for joining me here on my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you guys so much. I'll be seeing you guys really soon with some more fun content. Go ahead and click that like and subscribe button. See you later guys. You guys are awesome. <laughs> That's the best guys. Thank you.